Surge. Anybody remember that soda from the 90s, Surge? <clears throat> All right. What's up, everybody? Grim Green back here today. Thank you so much for joining me again. We got another pod system that we're going to be starting our review for. It is called the Surge. You see that right there? An ultrasonic vape. Ultrasonic vapes are something that has been tried dozens. I'll go ahead and say dozens of times. I think I find trying the first ultrasonic vaporizer 2016 again in 2017 there was one i guess it was an 18 that was the the u sonic that wasn't bad but the technology never really kind of got there it never really performed the same way that a coil or like a mesh coil head performed it was always very very slightly less than fine this is the surge pod that i put together with the cool mint all of the pods are pre-filled pods now the flavor that it came with is called polar mint but they they also do, look at this, green mint, rich tobacco, smooth tobacco. We got a blueberry ice and we got a watermelon ice. It's my goal to at least try all of these flavors. I'm not the hugest fan, I guess, of pre-filled pods. That Nalt pod system was also a pre-filled pod, but it also came with empty pods that you could fill, you know, with your own liquid. So you weren't necessarily tied to their 18, 20, 35 milligram pods. Thankfully, these pods seem to be 18 milligram, which is, that's about as high on the nicotine level that I want to go. I've been using this particular one, like I said, with that Polar Mint for not even 48 hours. I got it on a Friday. It's been a weekend that I've been using it. And I'll say that, man, it's been performing surprisingly good. I did not have high hopes for an ultrasonic vape just because, like I said, I've been disappointed in the past. This is performing and feeling a lot like very modern, you know, mesh coil head pod systems. I don't love this polar mint flavor, but the performance and like overall vape experience I'm getting from it is real, real nice. I can't see a reason to do an up close with this. It's really nothing. There's your airflow, there's your USB-C, there's your LED indicator. As I said, the pods are pre-filled, they're just magnetic, they drop in, there's no wrong way to do it. Here's a little size comparison for you. It's literally the same exact size, weight, height dimension as many other popular pods on the market right now. Generally with pod systems like this, I like to use the pod for as long as I possibly can. I want to see what kind of life you're going to get out of these pods. And then I guess that's really applicable to you know, pods that you can refill yourself and not necessarily pre-filled pods because the pre-filled pod only needs to last as long as the liquid on the inside. This Polar Mint seems to be about halfway done, still performing really very nice. The best way that I can describe an ultrasonic vape is it's a little bit weaker than like a mesh type of vape. There's a little bit longer of a ramp up. You gotta take a little bit longer of a drag. Sometimes I'll even take like a primer puff and just go, hmm. I'm gonna set that Polar Mint to the side right now. I'm gonna get into some of these other flavors right now. In fact, I'm gonna open up this other Surge battery so I can have more than one flavor going at the same time. Surge battery. This one is green. You will get literature. You will get your pre-filled pod. You will get a USB-C cable. What is an ultrasonic vape? Ultrasonic vaping technology atomizes e-liquid into vapor through high-speed vibration. Surge is powered by an ultrasonic vaping chip which vibrates at a super high frequency, 3 million hits per second, to split e-liquid into clouds of aerosol. So there's nothing actually warming up or heating up. And if you want to talk about harm reduction from cigarette smoking, having a vape with zero heating element sure does seem like harm reduction to me. Let's try this one with green mint and let's try a tobacco. I like tobacco. Let's go for full rich tobacco. Yep, that's what the whole up close portion would have been. Remove the little condom. Put it in your battery. Green mint. Not that great. Whoa, that's minty. That is like uh, painfully, painfully mentholated. I'm hoping that the other menthol pods, the raspberry ice, watermelon ice, 
aren't quite so insanely mentholated. That is crazy. Those three toots gave me a little bit of like a cold headache. What do you have to say for yourself, watermelon ice? Watermelon ice smells good at least. Here, let's give it a shot. That flavor is really very not good. That watermelon ice tastes like mentholated garbage. Okay, I have not been impressed by any of these flavors so far. I'm gonna give this a uh, full tobacco. What was it? Yeah, rich tobacco. Where are you? Yeah, rich tobacco. Okay, so every pod so far has been a little bit flooded, a little bit gurgly right out of the packaging. No, I haven't had a tobacco flavor that bad in a while. It tastes like a shoe. <laughs> Gross, dude. Oh, come on, tobacco. Don't be terrible. All right, we're gonna try the smooth tobacco and the blueberry ice, like literally right now. I was planning on this being a multi-day video, which it probably still will be a multi-day video. I just wanted to... I don't know, I wanted to try all these flavors. That tobacco is legitimately like offensive. Okay, let's do these last two. Let's do blueberry ice and smooth tobacco. I promise I'm not even grumpy today. I was going into this video like a little optimistic, like, oh, I'm a little bit stoked. I'm gonna get to try all these flavors, see if there's one I really like. Let's try blueberry ice. There's a rubber stopper in the tip. Okay, that's pretty good. That's not bad at all. It is substantially less mentholated than the watermelon, than the mint, than the polar ice. All right, this is a good flavor. This is a flavor I like, blueberry ice. Well done. Let's try the last smooth tobacco. Always gurgly, just gurgly right out of the gate. I don't even know how to describe this tobacco. It's not a shoe. It has that like corn. It tastes like almost like Turkish maize, like a slightly sweet, corn. Look, the slightly sweet corn and the blueberry ice so far are kind of the two good flavors in this. So I'm going to continue using this. I'm going to continue using these pods. I'll report back in a few days. We'll hand out some banana stickers. Okay, finally wrapping up the surge. Man, I spent way more time with this little pod system than I originally thought I would. Uh, everything I said about the flavor still remains. The smooth tobacco and the blueberry ice are really the only two flavors that I found that I kind of enjoy. And even then, I don't enjoy them so much that it would make me like seek out this pod system. The rich tobacco and the green mint are still the two worst flavors. It does taste like a shoe. And the green mint is so mentholated that it's actually painful. And I must say that this is top notch. I mean, far and away the best ultrasonic vape I think I've ever had. It's almost indistinguishable from like a coil head, like a mesh based coil head system. You take a little bit longer of a draw and yeah, it's a little bit cooler, but man, this is, I'm just shocked. I'm shocked this is vaping at the level that it is. You can just chain vape the hell out of it. It never, ever, never gets burnt, even when you get to the very, very end of your cartridge because there's nothing heating up, so there's nothing to burn. I vaped through a few of the smooth tobacco cartridges because I, I honestly kind of like that flavor. It was corny. Like I said before, I kind of really liked it. And the only way that I knew that I got to the end of a pod was it just stopped producing vapor. And in a really interesting turn, the Surge company asked me to directly compare this to a really popular, you know, commercial pod on the market. And they mentioned the Jewel by name. So I'm gonna compare this to the Jewel. In terms of the quality of the vape, it's, it's kind of no comparison. The Surge is just worlds better, just leaps and bounds better. The airflow feels better, it feels smoother, it's more rich, it's more dense, it's more flavorful. It has a very honestly similar draw to the Jewel, but it just outperforms it you know, in every way possible. The Jewel feels fine, but it's clearly peak 2017 technology and it shows. This feels very dated. Now, if we're gonna talk about aesthetics, then again, it's really no comparison because the Jewel is gonna win hands down. It's just small and slick and techy and hand-free. I mean, sure, the battery life kind of sucks on this comparatively, but the trade-off is honestly, regardless of how you feel about Jewel, that's the coolest, far and away the slickest, coolest little e-cig on the market. 
but I'll take this vape literally every day of the week over a Juul. Vape budget hands, I can't find a price anywhere. Like I always say, I would be shocked if this pod system was over $40. Me personally, th this pod system isn't doing much for me. I wish with all my wishes, I could just fill one of these ultrasonic pods up with my own liquid. That would just make my day. I would probably vape the crap out of this. As it stands, there's no real flavor that is tying me, like that I love so much that's gonna make me keep using the Surge. The flavors are bad, but the technology is beyond impressive. So for that reason, I think, ah, crap. Yeah, well, we're gonna do seven banana stickers. Give me a pot I can fill on my own and we'd be having a completely different conversation. And now we've reached the end of the video. There's gonna be science in the description because when it comes to the science of vaping, let's listen to the scientists. I'll just tell you that no matter what is in your hand, absolutely, let's keep on vaping. <coughs> it's like 10.30 and I'm uh, just gonna smoke, so 